The Oklahoma Republican Party held a convention this weekend, and it was kind of a street fight. We're told police had to get involved when a 70-year-old Mitt Romney supporter punched a Ron Paul supporter in the head after they disagreed on the vote. But most of the contention was captured on cell phone video. This woman right here, Mrs. The video you are watching is being recorded by a woman who says she was just hit in the back. And with a fist to my back. I did. Yes, she most certainly did. And a woman struck me with her fist in the middle of my spine and said it's your own damn fault. This wasn't the only commotion during the Oklahoma Republican State Convention. This Ron Paul supporter says he was hit in the head by a 70-year-old Mitt Romney supporter. I threw it, got done, moved on, and got to the important business that everyone here is here for instead of wasting time on something else. And I really did appreciate how great the police were. This is not how modern Republicans expect their politics to go. I mean, the Republican Party is supposed to be orderly. The Republican Party is supposed to be Gibsons by the pool with little pearled onions. Very reasonable, very nice. Don't eat the garnish. But not this year. Witness Oklahoma, where the party faithful booed and screamed at the state's Republican governor, Mary Fallon, when she said at the convention that the party's single goal was to elect Mitt Romney as president. This is Oklahoma. This is the reddest state in the union in presidential politics. There are no Obama lovers there. Oklahoma is the only state in the contiguous United States in which Barack Obama lost every single county to John McCain. If the Republican governor of this super Republican state cannot stump for the party's presumed nominee without getting loudly booed, then the Republican Party is truly having trouble conducting the most basic of its business. This weekend, it was supporters of Texas Congressman Ron Paul in particular who were lodging complaints about the way the convention was being run, right up until the lights went out. Literally. Watch. Attendees say there was a lot of disagreement throughout the day, but things came to a halt when the lights were turned off and the conference room walls closed on one group. My heart was totally broken when the convention just, just was put into shambles and they were turning mics off, they turned the lights off, they pulled the door walls across to prevent delegates from voting. After the punches and the blackout and the booing and the walls being closed, just, the convention results um, seemed almost irrelevant. But for the record, Rick Santorum got 14 delegates. Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich each got 13. Ron Paul, whose supporters made up nearly half the crowd. Ron Paul, the last non-Mitt Romney candidate still in the race. Ron Paul got no delegates in Oklahoma. We have watched this year as Ron Paul supporters have made a big splash at convention after convention around the country. At the Republican Make convention sure. in Arizona this weekend, the Ron Paul crowd booed and yelled at Mitt Romney's son, Josh. Mr. Romney had already won the Arizona primary by 20 points back in February. He won the Alaska caucus by three points in March, but in April at the state Republican convention in Alaska, the Ron Paul crowd jeered a U.S. senator who dared to say they should support Mitt Romney. They jeered the idea of supporting Romney at all, and then they elected a Ron Paul supporter as Alaska's new party chairman. In Nevada, Mitt Romney won the caucuses, which were a mess. He more than doubled up Ron Paul in the caucuses. But at the state convention, Ron Paul supporters took 22 of the 25 delegates who were free for the taking. In Maine, Mitt Romney won the caucuses, which were an even bigger mess than the caucuses in Nevada. But at the Maine state convention, Ron Paul supporters grabbed most of the delegates. History will reflect that the Maine caucuses were a wreck and that at the convention, Maine voted for Ron Paul. Today, Ron Paul announced that he was suspending the part of his campaign that has to do with going out and giving stump speeches in primary states. Instead, the campaign says he will focus on those conventions, winning more delegates at state conventions. He will travel to Minnesota for the convention there this week. He's scheduled to speak at conventions coming up in Iowa and Washington state. His supporters are hoping for their delegate best at the Idaho precinct committee races tomorrow. We don't know for sure what Ron Paul hopes his growing stash of delegates is going to get him at the national convention. And none of the possibilities is nearly as intriguing as watching Mitt Romney trying to win the hearts of his party faithful. Republicans are not, by and large, crashing the doors over Mitt Romney the way they are for Ron Paul. But what happens to all that enthusiasm? What happens to all that feeling? 
Now that Ron Paul is dialing back on the speeches and the crowds, now that the headlines say he is admitting he cannot win, will Ron Paul Republicans keep up this fight? The campaign today saying that Mr. Paul, Dr. Paul, excuse me, is concerned by his supporters shouting people down at these conventions all over the country. Quote, it concerns him. He wants to convey to everybody and our staff want to convey that we'll lose more than we gain if we go and we're disrespectful. Respect and decorum are very important to Dr. Paul. Whether or not that stated concern from the candidate means that the Ron Paul delegate strategy at these conventions is going to start to dry up now, too or whether the Republican Party at the state level will continue to be as astonishing as Oklahoma was this weekend because of the Ron Paul enthusiasm, well, that remains to be seen. What's going to happen to the last candidate standing against Mitt Romney is still a fascinating question. But really, at this point, it's beyond standard punditry's capacity. It's really a question that only the candidate himself can really answer. Ron Paul, come on. I would so love to talk to you. We used to talk all the time. I would love to have you. I will not interrupt. We'll have a great conversation. We used to talk all the time. It was fun, right? Help us understand what you're doing. Come on. It'll be fun. Now it's time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Have a great night.